to GOK. My name is Asha. I'm a geologist and I live in Norway. On this channel I will talk about anything geology related. I'll focus on new articles in the field of geology, old articles which have significant value for how we view the earth, or a trip to the geological museum. So, if you find this interesting, grab a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and uh, hit the subscribe button and like and comment. Um, today we are going to talk about remnant magnetism techniques. We'll start talking a bit about the blocking temperature and what that is. Then we'll talk a bit about the three main group, uh, techniques which are uh, thermal remnant magnetism, detrital remnant magnetism and chemical remnant magnetism. So uh, yeah, let's see what's in the cave today. So I'll start pretty abrupt with the definition of relaxation time and it has nothing to do with the sofa. It is the time it takes for a ferromagnetic mineral to lose its magnetization. Relaxation time for magnetite is shown here. Relaxation time is less than one microsecond at 575 degrees but exceeds the age of the earth at 510 degrees. If we choose 100 seconds as the critical relaxation time, the grain goes from from super paramagnetic to, to stable single domain at 550 degrees. The temperature at which this happens is called the blocking temperature. Thermal remnant magnetism is based on the idea that the ratio between the natural remnant magnetization produced by an ancient field, by cooling in an ancient field, and uh, the thermal remnant magnetization produced by cooling in a field in a lab is the same as the ratio between the remnant field and the field produced in a lab. So when you have a sample and you reheat, you, you heat it and you reheat it to a certain temperature uh, to, well, actually probably most, most likely till, till it loses its magnetization, you get a graph like this and the slope up of this, of this graph uh, gives you the gives you the, 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 the natural remnant magnetization field. So uh, the positional or the treatal remnant magnetization uh, is formed in clastic sediments when fine particles are deposited on the floor of a body of a water. Uh, marine sediments, lake sediments and some clays can acquire uh, depositional remnant magnetization and it happens when the earth's magnetic field aligns the grains yielding a preferred uh, direction of magnetization. <laughs> okay, so chemical changes that form ferromagnetic minerals below their blocking temperature in a in a magnetization in a magnetizing field result in uh, acquisition of chemical remnant magnetism. Chemical reactions involving ferromagnetic minerals include alteration of pre-existing minerals to ferromagnetic minerals 
or precipitation of ferromagnetic minerals for, from solution. Uh, this mostly happens in sedimentary rocks actually. So that's it for this time and uh, thank you for watching so far if you have. And uh, this is, uh, well I think I have at least three more uh, articles that I was going to go through which uh, talks about um, uh, remnant magnetism and uh, the inner core and uh, or two I'm not sure so uh, but uh, after that I will probably change themes and maybe there will come uh, other videos in the middle of it I'm not sure um, this is taking longer time that I than I thought it would but uh, Thank you for watching and uh, so yeah so uh, yeah so that's it for this time and uh, have a rocky day. <laughs> so thermal remnant <laughs> magnetizing field result in acquisition of chemical remnant magnetization magnetis magnetism.